Now, what you might have noticed as I was merrily clicking on this thing here is that in addition to hide keyframes, which is what I showed you, there's show clip keyframes or clip volume, and also track keyframes and volume. Well, the difference between these two is very, very simple. If I go to this clip, which has got a fill left on it, and I click on that and say show volume, the yellow line shows the volume. If I click on that and say show clip keyframes, I do have the option of instead of showing the volume, I can show the fill left. Or if I was to throw some more audio effects onto there, and there's loads and loads of audio effects. Let's put a chorus on there, and a de on there, and a blah, whatever. Then I've got the option of showing any of the parameters of any of those effects. Whether that's useful to you or not is another matter. But that's the difference. If you say show volume, it always shows you the volume, which is you know, the equivalent of these. If you say show keyframes, it shows you a line that represents whatever keyframes you've chosen up here. And choosing volume level is the same as saying show volume. So that's pretty simple. But what's this? What on earth are track keyframes as opposed to clip keyframes? Well, let's go down to this track here. And instead of showing your volume, I'm going to show track keyframes. And you'll immediately notice all my points have gone. Still there, you can still see them in the effects control window. If you play it, you can still hear the sound going up and down, but you can't see them on the timeline. And that's because I have now decided to show me keyframes to do with the track as opposed to the clip. Now most of the time I'd recommend you stick with clip keyframes. Clip keyframes are points that you put on the clip. If I was to take that clip and move it, the points go with it. Which means if you insert something, like a, maybe I want a title at the start of this lot, insert a title, everything moves down the timeline. If I were to do track keyframes, I get a little yellow line there, but instead of being isolated on the clip, it's now on the track. I can put points on it. Hold down on control, start clicking, I have points. That is fading the audio up, getting louder, back to normal. Ramping down a bit. And it's achieved the same thing that I achieved using the clip keyframes. In other words, when you play it... David, I wanted to ask you about ABC HD. How easy it is gets it louder well, it's pretty and easy louder stuff and louder, as and then it gets quieter, and then quieter, and then back to normal. So it's achieved the same thing. But if I was to take that clip and move it, then the keyframes don't go with it. Now I'm trying to, trying to move it right now, but it won't let me. It won't let me because I've got track keyframes showing. If I put clip keyframes back on, I can now move it, go back to track keyframes, and you see those keyframes are still in the same place. So I prefer clip keyframes. They achieve the same thing, but I prefer clip keyframes. There are several things to be wary about track keyframes. For a start, the simple thing I just did, I'm trying to move that sound and it won't move for Toffee. Why is it not moving? I haven't locked the track, I haven't locked the item. It's not moving because I've got track keyframes showing. Let's put an audio effect on there. I want to put a bass audio effect on there, grab the bass, dump it on there. And put, hang on, I can't put any effects on there now, can I? Why is that? Because I'm showing track keyframes. Let's put it back on clip keyframes. Oh, I can suddenly put them back on there. I have actually had people ring us up for technical support in the past, and they've been trying to put an effect on a clip or trying to move a clip, and it won't work, and they don't know why. And what has happened is they've accidentally set track keyframes. And we realized that's what they've done, because we said, what do your keyframes look like? And they said, well, they've got little dots in the middle. Ah, you've got track keyframes on, we said. Click on this thing, show clip keyframes, where there's no dot in the middle. You can do what you like. Now most of the time I say just stick to clip keyframes. That's how I do everything myself. I prefer to do that. Why would you want to use track keyframes? 